heard a lot of people say that you know, we're optimizing for keeping people on the service. The way that we view this is that we are trying to help people um, have meaningful social interactions. It's Andy here, and a lot of people have questions about what's being called as the Facebook Papers, a collaboration between up to 17 publishers against the tech giant, Facebook. Now, back in January 6th of 2021, the United States saw the attack on the Capitol where Mike Schroper, Facebook's chief technology officer, posted an internal message board for the company stating, hang in there, everyone. Facebook should allow for peaceful discussion of the riot, but not calls for violence. A post like this is not the first time we've seen something on an internal message board of Facebook, according to new documents. This post led to many of the employees of the company, in this case, to call out Facebook for what was going on. The post was met with replies like, I'm struggling to match my values to my employment here, to even things like, I came here hoping to affect change and improve society, but all I've seen is atrophy and abdication of responsibility. And the thing is, this isn't the first time apparently we saw comments like this in internal message boards of Facebook, according to these new papers, where a lot of Facebook's internal practices are polarizing a lot of people online. Comments like these and more from internal Facebook employees were documented in thousands of papers in the internal Facebook documents. These documents being titled the Facebook papers showcase the internal communications of employees on message boards. Many who were hired to help address Facebook platform problems really wonder, is this platform safe? Now you wanna know probably what were these debates about? Really similar to what you just saw earlier the events of polarizing issues and unsafe harm to a lot of people across the globe. From human trafficking to crime, Facebook has studied what overall contributes to its mainstream success and profitability. These events, many of which containing false information or harmful situations, are being promoted more heavily in a newsfeed cycle, meaning that users are more likely to see disastrous events, misinformation elections, and more as opposed to baby showers, exciting job updates, and other statuses. In her conversations with Congress, the whistleblower has said she's worked on many different platforms and competitors like Facebook, but has never seen an algorithm like this one. Companies' leadership knows how to make Facebook and Instagram safer, but won't make the necessary changes because they have put their astronomical profits before people. Overall, Zuckerberg has pushed back on these allegations, claiming in a viral Facebook status, the CEO touched on the misinformation of the whistleblower's comments to Congress, and even the Facebook shutdown. The biggest takeaway he made was saying, at the heart of these accusations is this idea that we prioritize profit over safety and well-being. That's just not true. And a lot of you are wondering, what were other findings in these papers? Papers themselves are redacted versions of disclosures that Haugen has made over several months to the Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC. As pointed out from NBC, some of the key notes from these documents include, a change in Facebook's newsfeed in 2018 that was intended to bring friends and family members closer together having the opposite effect. Facebook found that posts spread more easily if they included outrage or misinformation, causing an online social civil war abroad in places like Poland. Another document found that in 2019, an internal researcher wrote, we know that many things that generate engagement on our platform leave users divided and depressed. NBC even found that many documents highlight Facebook's failure to police its platform outside the US, including Myanmar and Sri Lanka, where the company has issued apologies for its actions contributing to physical violence against religious or ethnic groups. Even in 2020, a series of managers presented Mark Zuckerberg with a series of changes to the platform algorithm, including the amendments to some of the things that were just mentioned. But according to NBC, Zuckerberg rejected some of the proposed changes, including an idea to reduce reshares on misinformed posts. The overall picture we get is that Facebook did not action on the many, many dozens of suggestions to improve its platform because many of those suggestions would have sacrificed growth. They would have sacrificed key metrics like engagement that Mark Zuckerberg really cares about. And they would have had many false positives, meaning they would have taken down a lot of non-problematic comments by mistake. And many are still researching the impacts of the July 6th capital attacks but the social war on Facebook is still ongoing. For now, many people are wondering what the future of Facebook will be. Many have heard that the giant are potentially going to create a holding company to disguise its name of Facebook being on its properties. And others wonder if the platform will again shut down as we saw for many hours on October 4th, 2021 a date many say that will go down for quite some time. And in the end, the Facebook papers will probably be a discussion that many hear about for quite some time. It's not gonna go away. All these SEC Congress meetings and more about these whistleblower accusations are probably seeming very true. But for more information on this, go to whatstream.com. Follow me, Anu and we'll see you very soon.